All right, welcome back to our next video. In this one, we're going to be putting our rebar inside of our, our footers here to give the uh, concrete a little more support. Our plans don't call for rebar, but it's it's a cheap thing to put in, and, and it's going to make the foundation stronger and, and just, just better for the future. And uh, one of the things we're going to be using to uh, put in here is these little, little risers that the rebar will sit into. So it'll keep it keep the rebar off the ground and and inside the the concrete a little deeper and they're cheap these things are only a dollar each and it's it's something that helps helps out and makes it easier so we're going to go ahead and, and get started with the with the rebar here and we'll we'll show you the, that uh, process and and uh, we'll stop a little bit later and show you how it's all going All right, so to get this rebar uh, tied down to the little the little uh, footers there for it, um, just what we use these little uh, wire ties here, and it has two loops, goes around, and this one just spins around and, and twists it up, and gets it all all locked together so it doesn't doesn't come apart. So I'll I'll start on this this little section here, and get it all all tied up, and we'll show you what it looks like when that, that's all finished. Justin, how's it going? Oh, it's it's going. Are you using your boot to help you bend it? I am. This is this is the affordable house build. I can't buy some fancy rebar bender, so I use my boots and my arms. That bends it just fine. <laughs> no Perfect. gym. No gym needed. No gym in. Nope. Don't need a gym. Just bend some rebar. Well, good job! Gotta okay, use your muscle.
are you going, stranger? Let's go for a walk today. Where at? Up in the mountains. Got done early. Now it's just time to take a nice little break. Having cool a good time? Today. Oh, it's having a good time. Okay. Where are you going? Who knows? All right, guys, we're here at the end of the day. We have our concrete all poured, had a truck come in, put down six and a half yards. We have our 16 support blocks here that we had poured, and it's a lot of blocks. Even even the concrete truck driver said he's never seen so many support blocks before. But that was in the plans, so that's that's what we built. And they were, they were a pain to fill up, every one by hand. But um, yeah, that, that's it for today. Uh, nothing else we can do except let the concrete dry over the weekend and we'll come back for the next video and start taking the forms off and placing our ICF blocks. So that's it. So thanks for watching and be sure to give us a thumbs up and a comment if you liked the video. So thanks. We'll see you next time.